Hi, Jeff Agenti with Star Managed Services. I'm the Managed Services Sales Manager for the division, and today I'm excited to talk about our document management application and how you can access your documents via a mobile application. So we're quickly going to jump into this. So what we're looking at, obviously, is a web client. The web client gives you the ability to capture, store, retrieve, kick up workflows, uh, make your annotations, or whatever is between your operational uh, procedures or processes you have in place. So what we're going to do quickly is just store a document, uh, put in a, in a file cabinet, and we're going to send out a little notification and try to access those documents via the, uh, the mobile application. So let me quickly go into uh, my temporary space here and just drag a document into the tray. So what Docuware is going to do is just kick up a very small intelligent indexing job. Again, the main features about intelligent indexing is that it's going to pull your metadata of the documents and assign them automatically into the index fields. The advantages of that is that it reduces a lot of manual data entry. So it's mainly automatic. So rather than you doing manual data entry, you're more of a data checker. As you can see, if I double click on the document, it's telling me that it has a high confidence level where the document is supposed to go. So I'm quickly going to store it. It's going to go and ask me that if all the information is pulled from the document is correct. Obviously, I believe it's 100% correct because it's all green. So what I'm quickly going to do is just store the documents and it's nicely and tucked away in the file cabinet. So now if I want to access the documents, I can do so from clicking on my file cabinet configuration that I have in place. I can pull it using a document type, vendor name, uh, number, date, amount, statuses, perform a full text search, date, et cetera, et cetera. But what if I don't have access to a computer or PC? Guess what? You don't need it. You can actually pull it from your mobile device. So what we're going to do is access the document via the mobile app. So obviously, it's telling me that I have my access to my file cabinet. And also, it's giving me a nice little notification that I have five documents that has been assigned to me. So basically, there's a workflow that's kicked off in the background. So if I open up one of the documents that's been assigned to me on the task list, so here's one of the documents. However, I want to backtrack, right? I want to access my file cabinet. So if I select it, the same thing as titled on here, demo campaign search dialog, I tap on it. So what it's going to do is forward me directly to my file cabinet. So now I can go ahead and perform my search. So I know I just stored a document today. So if I want to search by today's date, hit here. If I select today's date, click on search. It'll perform a global search for me, letting me know that, hey, there's a document you stored a second ago. I tap on it, and voila, here's the document. So I could be anywhere in the world as long as I have internet connection or cellular data or Wi-Fi connection. I can access my documents wherever I am. I could be in a, in a courthouse. I could be in a medical office. I could be across the country. I could be on the road. If a document has been stored, or in this case, an invoice is stored that requires my attention for approval or review, or whatever is involved, I can access documents wherever I am. You can also zoom in on the documents if you wanted to also. So very neat feature. And also keep in mind, you can continue a workflow, stop a workflow, or initiate a workflow directly from your mobile device if you wanted. For example, if I click, I tap on one of these documents that I want to go ahead and approve, which is the one I just stored a minute ago for like on January 15, 2018. So here it is. So now if I want to go ahead and approve or decline this document, I could do so. Just click on the stamp button on the upper right corner, which is right here. If I tap on it, it'll afford me to make a decision on the document. So I could approve it or I could decline it. So let's quickly go ahead and approve this document. As you can see, it placed a handy little stamp on here with my name, date, and also the purpose of the stamp. Tap on done.
And that's it. We're able to continue a workflow and approve a document directly from a mobile device. Thank you for watching this video, and there's more to come. Have a fantastic day.